Days of Our Lives spoilers reveal that Paulina Price received a visit from E.J. D. I. Mera, who handed over a signed affidavit from Stefan D. I. Mera. E.J. confidently explained that he could now remain in his role as D.A., sharing how he had threatened to sue Stefan for defamation. Stefan later brought up a previous conversation with E.J., who had teased him about struggling to move past the image of Gabby in bed with his brother. Gabby admitted she couldn't shake the memory of Stefan with Ava Vitoli either. Although Gabby and Stefan acknowledged the damage between them was too great to repair, they shared tender moments, reminiscing about their love story. Gabby agreed that their divorce was inevitable and said goodbye to Stefan, though she let her emotions flow once she was alone. EJ visited Gabby afterward, and she briefly lashed out over his earlier gloating to Stefan. However, she ultimately recognized that EJ wasn't to blame for her impending divorce. EJ hinted that Gabby might still have a chance to save her marriage, but Gabby predicted it was over for good this time. Meanwhile, Roman was willing to offer Ava her job back but encouraged her to clear the air with Stefan. When Ava met Stefan at the bistro, he asked if she was there to reclaim the job he had offered her. Stefan informed her that the divorce was proceeding, and Ava expressed concern that he was rushing things. Stefan, however, saw no reason to delay since the damage was irreversible. He urged Ava to return to work for him, assuring her that his failed marriage wouldn't be an issue. Elsewhere, in the town square, Julie Williams hinted to Thomas and Charlotte D. I. Mera about a surprise from their father, Chad D. I. Mera. Leo Stark soon arrived, mentioning he had heard good news about Abigail D. I. Mera, confusing the kids, as they believed their mother was dead. Leo quickly concocted a story about Abigail's angel wings and tied it into his previous tooth fairy deception. Abigail struggled with the idea of disappointing Thomas and Charlotte by not remembering them. When Julie brought the kids home, Thomas asked who Abigail was. She claimed to be a work friend of Chad's, postponing the conversation about their mom's supposed return. 